Hi everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at OpenBoard, which is an open source software which we can use to hook up to interactive whiteboards, Promethean boards, etc. Uh, that you may want to use in your teaching when you move forward. Uh, so OpenBoard, you want to go to this web address and delete this, or excuse me, download this program. And before we do that, one thing I wanted to show you was uh, how to upload photos and save photos onto your computer so that you can use them in OpenBoard. I'd rather show that to you now before we get started. So if you go to very simply a Google search and you just type in Ohio map and images are going to pop up, we'll go ahead and grab one, select it, save image as, and now you're going to notice once you're in here, you're going to want to go and you're going to want to find your users folder, your name, and then go to the pictures folder and you'll see there is a folder specifically for open board. If you open that up, you can actually go ahead and create new folders and drop them into one of these two folders or any folders that you create. And you'll see momentarily uh, why that is beneficial. So just something to think about to go ahead and save yourself some time in doing so. So now that we have our images saved, if we need any, we're going to go ahead. Now I'm going to open up open board for you so that you can see what it looks like. And you're going to notice I've already dropped into OpenBoard some different slides and materials for you. Now, when you create your presentation, your first page should include the standard with which your teaching lesson has been prepared around. So find a standard that you can use a manipulative for that will allow you to incorporate this technology with your teaching. And all to do that is very simple. As you can see here on the left hand side, it almost looks like Google Slides or Microsoft PowerPoint, how it gives you a nice, real easy presentation of all your slides on the side. So to add a new page, you simply go up top and select new page. And that will allow you, it will give you just a blank page. As you can see right here, you can go ahead and, and manipulate it any way you want. To erase it, get rid of it, you just hit the X. If you would like to copy it, you select this option here. I'm going to delete. And to add text onto the slide, you just simply come down here. Here's your text box. You go in, and now you can type in whatever text you would like. You'll notice you can change your font size and style. You can change your font color. You can copy it. You can do all sorts of different activities with this. However you want to incorporate it, that's up to you. Down here on the menu bar on the bottom, you can see we have different activities that we can do. If we would like to annotate on the document, we can go ahead and we can do that. If we'd like to cross something out, we can to delete or erase we just simply select our erase tool if we would like to highlight notice at the top and this goes for the text as well when you're writing with the pen we can change our color if we would like we can change our line thickness we can also change the thickness of our eraser zoom in zoom out uh, laser pointer so you can move around on the page if you for instance have this open up and you're presenting in front of the class lines which we'll talk more about here how to draw lines in a second and so make sure you have this information on your first slide when you do your presentation for class moving on as you can see on the left hand side here if we select this arrow it will push our navigation bar with our slides off to the side and then over here to the right you'll notice there's a second option which here is where you're going to find all of your activities and items in which you can insert uh, on your own so I'm going to go through here and I'm going to show you one by one the slides that I have done and then give you some ideas hopefully you can incorporate into your teaching. So now when you notice, I created this set of standards for a specific activity. So if I come down here to page two, notice the standard talks about the availability of natural resources contributed to the geographic and economic expansion of the United States, sometimes resulting in unintended, in unintended environmental consequences. Now here, I have inserted what is called a categorized text. So when you come here to the left-hand side, if you go to, oops, excuse me, if you go to the interactive, these are gonna be different slides essentially, or activities you can insert into the slides. So that one is just very simply categorized text. You just highlight it and drag it and drop it into the slide in which you would like. Now notice, if you're for the students, they have to identify what is and what is not a natural resource. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to edit this because you notice I specifically left this one so I'd have to go in and fix it. So when I go in to edit, I just simply highlight over 
and I'm ready to go. Now again, you can hot, if you go in here, you can simply change any text that you would like. If you would like to add a different category or a different box, you can do that here as well. When you go back to display, notice it changes for you and it will randomize the order so students have to put it into the correct spot. So non-natural resources, we'll go ahead and just do this real quick so you can get an idea. And then once they have it, everything correct, the item will light, light up green. If it is incorrect, depending on which activity you're using, it may or may not, it may go red or it may go green once it's correct. Now it won't tell you which ones are incorrect, but it will let you know if they're all correct or not correct. So this is a great activity for you to do. The next one I'd like to show you is associate images. So very simply, we want to drop our flag in to the correct flags. We want to select the Colombian flag. So if we drop here, notice it comes up red, that's incorrect. If we drag our Colombian flag in, it turns green. When we go to edit, this is where we make our changes in here. Now notice when I talked earlier about creating a folder for images, so it makes it nice and easy for you because when you go to the plus button, if I want to add a photo, I can come back here to home, go to pictures, and now notice they're already in here. I don't have to go and manually upload them. I can just simply take it and drop it right into that box and it will be there for you. Now make sure when you do this is you select which is the correct option. Again, when you go back to display, notice how it shuffles the random order of the flags. So a really nice manipulative here that you can do for that. The next item I would like to show you or activity is syllables. And that is again located in our interactives right here under syllables. Again, you just drag it over. And what is nice about syllables is it will allow you to go in and students have to identify where the syllables are. So, so Ticated. And now it highlights green to let you know that that is correct. If you go to edit, you can change the word, but make sure that you put in this, the asterisk next to or where the uh, syllable break should be. So maybe if you're teaching vocabulary or you're working on speech, this is a really great thing for you to be able to incorporate into your classroom. The next one here is Selecting animals, you can go through and you can do the same thing. When you hit cat, you'll have little check marks to tell you which ones are correct. You can go ahead and you can do that as well. Page five, this is a really nice one. This is order pictures. This one, this option right here. So maybe you're working on money or maybe you have a timeline and you have images related to a specific timeline. Again, if you would like to edit, you go to the plus button. If you would like to add in an image, this is where you would go back and manually add the image that you have here under pictures. Oops, excuse me. And this would be under the coins folder. So really it's up to you however you want to do that. I'm going to delete that picture off of there. But you're going to notice I can edit the text. I can change the pictures if I would like to. It's up to you. And now when you go into your menu and you're having your students work on this, they can come up to the board and manually place all these items into their correct spot. And then it will highlight green once that is correct. Another manipulative, maybe you're doing mathematics problems, this is the envelope option right here. You have 10 paper clips. If you'd like to change that total, you can. You can manipulate that right here. So if you say, for instance, you have 10 paper clips and you take away three, how many do you have left? And we have the students drop into the envelope and they can say, oh, we have seven paper clips left. So a real nice way you can walk around the room and manually check this to see if students had it correct or not. Order of letters. Again, if you're doing any type of spelling, Right here, this will be your order letters. You can go in, notice it's scrambled, so the students have to organize it correctly. So let's do that real quick. Let's test my spelling. And now it highlights green when it is correct. If you would like to, example, you can also use the audio and it will read the word to the student. 
for edit. You just simply go in and plug in any word that you would like, and it will do the same exact thing for you. Makes it pretty nice, pretty simple. Order of sentences. So if you're trying to teach sentence structure, for instance, you would just simply go in and change it around, and there is your example sentence. And here you can see hitting edit, it will allow you to change it. And then every time you bring it back in, it will give it some sort of different structure or different order to it. Another item I wanted to show you here was the scale, which is located right here. If you click on edit for the scale, you will notice you can, you have your specific setup weights here and you can create your own weights down here at the bottom. So for instance, if I want to change this to 10, sounds good. I go back to display. I drop two on there and now look, it is equal balance to 2020. Page 10, this is just one I wanted to show you. So for instance, if you're working on writing with your students, you can go up here, you can change the background color if you would like, whatever you'd like to do, it's up to you. And maybe you're having them working on writing. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna take my pencil, I'm gonna switch over to black, and hello, maybe you're gonna work on cursive, oh boy. Oh boy, I don't know if that's, Sister Sharon would not be happy with me right now. But you can, you get the idea, you can have students put in images and, and write and leave notes on the images or cross out incorrect words, whatever it is that you would like to do. Here you have lines. So one of the nice things that you can do if you have mathematics, for instance, if we go this time to applications, you will notice I can pull out the protractor drag and drop. Now you'll see I have two lines that I already created just right here. I just simply went in and created the lines themselves. And I can move my protractor so that I can get an idea of what the angles are. If I drag this right here, notice it tells me the exact percentage or exact angle, degrees of the angle. We can take this and move it around as well if we're looking to do that. So it gives us really kind of pretty cool different little ideas that we can do uh, to really manipulate and work with our students. Animations, you can do animations as well. Those are located right here, which you can drag and drop. And really what you want to do is you're going to go, and go in under applications, just kind of learn and play around. There's calculators in here, there's a compass, you have triangles, you have magnifying glasses to zoom in on specific objects. Uh, Wikipedia is in here. I sell is a nice one for science. It just depends on what you want to do and, and how you want to do it. One last item I wanted to show you was how to incorporate Flash into this. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go to web up here in the top right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search. So I'm going to go, uh, let's see, US drag and drop map. And now when I come on here, you're going to notice it does a Google search right in here for you. It's pretty, pretty nice. So I'm going to select this map here. And you're going to notice I have this web page where if I go and I ask students, okay, I want you to click on New Jersey. This is a great way to kind of do a formative assessment of what your students' knowledge are, knowledge is. They can click on it, it'll tell them if they got it right. Now notice it's keeping a timer on it and how many they got correct. So click on Nebraska, all right, click on Nevada. And if they get it wrong, it will tell them temporarily what state it was, but they still have to go back and find North Carolina. But how do you get this into your program so that it saves everything. We just simply go here to this button here, trap flash content, create application. And now notice it's right here. So if you can, you can take this and copy it and move it onto a different slide if you would like to, for instance, or create a, its own page, which is pretty nice. And that will allow you, as you notice, as you scroll down, the students still have to do the actual activity. So they still have to click on the specific state that you would like them to work with or analyze or whatever it is that you have that you would like for them to do. So hopefully this works for you and you're able to find some activities using OpenBoard. It's a really great software that you can incorporate into your teaching. I look forward to seeing your little mini lessons with your inclusion of this software in it as we approach the final week of the semester. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.